Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to. Welcome back to. Welcome back to. Pick me up, Scotty. What's up, you guys? Welcome back. It's me, Scotty. Hi. You're watching Bemis. Where we do alternative brick brands and we step out of our comfort zone and do other brands that maybe I shouldn't have done. But anyway, we're back to looking at something original. Looking at Sing Bao. You know, I just reviewed that casino. And now we're looking at this one, the next one. And guess what? I'm super happy and pleased to say this one's a lot less colorful. I'm looking on the screen right now. Yeah, I'm like, this is more like it. So this is Sing Bao's blacksmith. And weapon shop XB01027 2304 pieces. So, for sure, the casino was like way over flamboyant. They totally toned it down here, especially on the blues. I think they're only using it on the signs that you see hanging on the front. This was so much fun. Okay, it's still not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was before. So, if you watch the other one and you're like, oh, thank you, man, we don't need to get this thing, you watch this one and be like, dang it, Scotty, now I gotta get this one. That's right. You know what, I totally forgot to show you guys the boxes that this actually came in when it arrived. It looks really good, why waste it? Before I throw it away, I can just show it to you real quick. So let's look at the casino one first. I'm gonna slide this here to the side and show you the box. First of all, it comes with this beautiful bag. This is so cool. This is a Zing Bao bag. This is better than a Target bag. Better than a Walmart bag. Even this is like a beautiful string. Hey man, they put some real effort into this. Too bad you guys don't get a bag. Or maybe I'll give this one away, but you don't have to kind of fold it up. But yeah, nice bag. Wow. Yeah, I'll just put the bag here like this so you guys can see. I'll hide behind it so you can, you know, get a screenshot of this. Because you probably won't see this bag anywhere else. But look how beautiful it looks. Beautiful. Okay, I'll put this down first. This is the casino box. As you can see, it's very big. We already reviewed that one. Well, that's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like embossed. They spent money on this box, even here. Maybe you can see on that camera there. Ooh, Jing Bao, man. What trying to do? Okay, if I flip it here, you can see the other sets. We've seen this in the other video, in the manual. But you can see what the other sets look like there. And this weapon shop is not the smallest one. I think the horse stable supply shop is. And the lookout tower is the biggest one. And I'm building that one right now. So the other two are available. All these sets are now available at BrickMeUpScotty.com. Okay, here's the weapon shop box. You can kind of see the comparison there for yourself. And, you know, the back is pretty much more or less the same as the other box. I just wanted to show you guys that. Nice box. Now, when you open the box up, it comes with two more boxes on the inside, which are really nice, too. Connect like that. Yeah, it's just a little bit bright there because it's white. But, oh... Oh, so pretty. Is that the same there? Did it connect it right? I'm sorry we can't send boxes to you. You know, you can't actually request boxes. You're paying a lot for it though. It sucks to pack those things too because they get damaged in transit. Again, they really do a great job on the instruction manual. Easy to follow. There was actually a correction page here. They like flipped the wrong piece. So they have a, you know, they'll, they'll tell you. Oh, on number seven, five. We screwed up one little thing there, but boy, the photocopy color is like terrible. It must've been real last minute. You can pause that if you want, but then it kind of describes what this is all about. The rest of the pages are almost exactly the same, the sketching and all that kind of stuff. You know, just, just save that for yourself when you get the manual. It's kind of fun to just surprise yourself when you see cool things like that. All right. So if we look on the outside, they did keep that white and red. So it's has a little bit of an outstanding color there. They did use a little bit of this blue here. They didn't raise anything, I mean, except for maybe the second level, but everything's built into the base plate. We'll start on the front here. As a couple of you guys have mentioned before, lanterns to attract you to come to this building and forge your weapons. That's the coolest thing about the set. It came with so many weapons. It actually came with this pack. I kind of took some of them out, but it had pistols and knives and grenades, but apparently you use one of the knives, which still doesn't fit with this era. They didn't have to do that. They didn't even have to put that in there. So I was wondering, how come I'm getting these weapons? Especially when I'm packing orders for you guys and I see it fall out, I'm like, does this belong with the set? It sure does. What an awesome front, man. The details feels right. I do love the little cobblestone area on the front there. And they have like an anvil, like where you forge or you hammer out the sword. 
very simple, nice, but the weapons will fall off. So all the weapons that you see kind of floating around will fall off the set. So I'm gonna take those off later. Now behind the anvil, there's actually a couple boxes there too. You have plenty of boxes for this set. How cool is that? I'm pretty sure that thing right there in front of the anvil is to cool the weapon off in the water. And I like how they decorated some of these armor pieces here. It's just cool. It feels like you're getting so much extra stuff, man. Great details and they will fit. I'm pretty sure they'll fit with your minifigures. We'll, we'll test that out later. And then you have more weapons along the side of the walls. They did not have to throw in this many weapons, but thank goodness they did because it just makes the set even more outstanding. So next to the cobblestone, you got more armors and this looks like a box container that you can put more weapons in it. There's this little awning piece right here, which is what's fun to build. When I saw this in the picture, so I'm like, I don't know what that is. I don't know if I like it or not. But after putting it together, I'm like, oh, it's kind of cool. It, it's nice there. The only thing is like this part here, it's a little bit crazy how you put that together. A little bit loose. I kept pushing too hard or trying to make this all even out. You have to like be really gentle and you got to take your time building that. And there's a couple of trees here. The hook part's a little bit loose like that. Uh, minor thing. You can always replace that or fix it on your own. Or, you know, maybe you don't want those there. Or you can just bounce it there so it'll hold easier. But underneath that, you got this to make up for it. Which is like another water cooling area for your weapons. And there's a little platform there where you put your swords that you want to forge. And there is a furnace inside. Now it is a little bit hard to see from this angle. It's a little bit dark in there. If anything, a light brick probably would have been perfect right inside there. Especially if you're into the game Ghost of Tsushima. I'm glad to see some of you guys playing that with me. It's awesome. This solely reminds me of that. It's like, yeah, weapon shop. We need more weapons. On this side, you got a hammer. And you know what? I think this little area here is probably my favorite out of the whole place. I just like the feel and the look of it. So there's the shop sign for you. And yeah, that's a sticker. Does that surprise you? We come to this side here, which is like a great wall. And this is the part where it's like, it's not quite perfect because, because inside this section right here, it's actually hollow. I kind of wish it had something else there. They could totally open that up. Or maybe you guys can just like not build this wall. Can you take it out really easy? I'll try to pull it out later for you. But it's just a hollow room. It's empty in there. It's like, ah, oh, what a disadvantage, man. And you come to the back here, which is great. The staircase is super solid hasn't fallen off on me. And they put these things down here. I think that's like wood or material for the swords. They're mounted in by the studs on the other side, but there's a couple pieces in there that's a little bit loose. So that can actually pop off as you're pushing it in. A little bit frustrating, but it's very minor. Once you get them in there, it's pretty secured in there. And you got this box. Again though, if you look on the second floor, the windows has a little bit of those gaps. Those gaps are back. Thankfully, it's only one floor and it's minor, and there's just slight, slight flex on some parts. We come to the side here, this area. It's like a little step. They just lay out their weapons right there. Those are all fall off. But how cool is that? They actually took advantage of that little area. And, you know, usually these things, they put like plants here and stuff. Uh, we have seen plants all the time, but it's nice. You can actually remove all those weapons and make it like a seating area for your figures. Be all chilling right there. So as we come up to the second floor, what's nice is there's not too many dangling things. And even on the bottom floor here, like the little lantern, they're pretty secured in there. So thank goodness for that. They didn't hang up too much stuff. You got a couple of these signs that you saw earlier. They're really, really nice. And you know, you can always just take them off. They have a little balcony up here where the staircase comes around. And you got this tower right there. Chimney, not tower. I keep saying tower. I'm, I'm assuming that's a chimney where all the smoke is going to come up. All the chemicals are going to go out and be like, oh, this can come a little bit loose, look at that, oh, so it stays in there. That's really good. I think this piece right here, the little decoration, that's built bottom up, so that's probably the only thing that will really pop off on the set. Yeah, here's another little nice angle for you. So you can just see that second level. So same deal with the rooftop, they're just using all these pieces. It's very easy to build. You don't have to worry about like all these one by one cheese slopes. I kind of missed that though. I missed the tedious slotting in of one by one little cheese slopes. And rooftop, same kind of design as the other one. Go like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, and this is the knife I was talking about. That's not a knife. This is a knife. I don't know why they wanted to put this one single knife and you get like an entire plethora of 
modernized weapons and walkie talkies. That's really weird. So I've removed all the weapons there on the front. That doesn't include the ones that are hanging and the ones that are gonna be on the inside, which we're going to look at right now. So this is a modular, but this one is kind of an interesting take on how they do it. You just have to adjust a couple of things. So first of all, you can take off this floor quite easily, but it is fitted quite tight in there. See that? You can see, you can see it on that camera there. Okay, good. So we'll take that off. So you can see it does get smaller. Oh, bummer. At least it's nice and solid. So here's the thing, right? If I flip it up like this, go and show you like the tower. I just, the tower chimney, Scotty. Stop saying tower, it just looks like a tower to me. You can see how small it is here to get your hands inside. It's like, oh, yeah, I should make that bigger so you can get your hands in there. You can actually take this rooftop piece off, but it's going to take part of this balcony off. It can totally be done though, because it feels like it does do that intentionally. Because this side, if I pull up on here, it does pull off just fine, you see? But this side, it would just pull up a couple with the one by two, like, banknote looking thing. So there, you can see it there in that camera. But they did that in a way that you can kind of see the mounts right here that you know that this level can come off. Now we can really get inside. And you know what, I just for the sake of it, I'm gonna take the little flag off, we'll come back to that. And I'm gonna take this section, a little bit of the tower off here, which is really easy to put back on by the way. Chimney. So now we can see inside there, it is all tiled. Okay, so there's no door that goes inside, but that's fine. No door means it's more open on the inside. Look at all the weapons on the back wall. Those are so cool. You even got hammers and axes there. And on that wall, you got like more mounts. You can put leftover weapons on there. We have like a pitchfork there, a couple barrels in the corner. Right in the middle is this table. You got a helmet, hammers, and a butcher's knife. They do the same thing but they use the boxes as a countertop. So you got plenty of boxes with this set. So on the counter there, you have some tea. You need some tea first, you gotta discuss what kind of weapons you're gonna buy in this place. And I'm not sure what the grill piece is. Maybe that's supposed to be like an abacus, how much the weapons are gonna cost. It's just nice that there is room in there. You can put the figures around, they'll probably slide all over. There's no studs to hold them down, but I'm sure you guys can do that by yourself. You got a back cabinets there. Those don't open up though. And I think those are actually more boxes. So right above those cabinets is where the sticker should go. This is the last sticker. So four stickers total with this set. Should I just put it on now? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna do it so terribly in front of the camera. I'd be like, oh, 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 Scotty. Oh, oh, Scotty. Hey, hey, now. Not too bad. You actually didn't need to put that there. Okay, I'll just leave it there. So this is the area I was talking about that's a little bit hollow. I don't know if I can take this part out without falling off. I guess I can kind of, not supposed to. Here, I'll show you again. So that's like one level there, but even underneath here, it's all hollow. Let's see if I can just pull out part of this wall. I gotta remember how all that goes back together. But just so you can see there, yeah. Empty room, very small furnace place there, which is really cool by the way. And they had extra spares of the fires. So I just put one in there. They could have extended that out and you could have done a little bit more with that. But still, man, I'm like super happy. Even though this is really small, it just feels really, really good. Now we come to the next floor, but before we do that, I'm gonna try to put this back here. It's kind of easy to line up, it's not too difficult. There, just like that, right? Is that it? There, snap this down here. There, simple. Is it pushed in place there? Sure is. So, nice and fitted. Okay, I'll put the sign back here. And I like the construction of it, I thought it was fine. That is a sticker, by the way. I oh, know. All right, second floor, here we go. I'm gonna pop off the rooftop for this one, which comes off nice and easy. Again, little lanterns there. It's like a little box, this is so small, it's really fast to build. So if anything, I kinda wish it was bigger, that's all. But hey, this is fine. It's super sturdy, it's durable, and only thing is, those gappy windows! And this blue sign right here can kind of shift and fall off, but it's not too bad. You just remove those if you don't want the blue there, and you have no blue on this set. Now, just before we go in the door in this room, I just show you real quick on the outside, the staircase area where you come up, that little balcony, there are some small steps that go up into this floor. Open the door and be like, yo, what's on the inside? It's all tile on the inside, but you can see it's very dark in terms of color. There's not too much going on in there. 
It's still pretty sweet though. I like how it has that all tiled and fleshed out look to it. Nothing like looks out of place or cumbersome. So we'll look at this thing first, which is like an altar where you do your worshiping and your prayer. But yeah, it has prints on it. It's like a little guy praying. I like the color. The construction of the thing is very simple. The tone of it, the color is like dark, so it does kind of look old school style. That's one of the items on the inside. There's the cabinet there. Doesn't open, doesn't do anything. It's just like a nice little decoration piece. I do like there on the inside. Barely, barely see a couple little hooks there, but it's just more like a decorative piece. Nice. Okay, you got this chair, the throne. I think the chair is the only thing. Yeah, it's kind of like a little, oh, I just broke off the whole chair trying to pull it out. It's not really super secure. So this is the chair that was inside there. It's just very hard to actually take out. A lot of pieces will probably fall off underneath there. You can see where it's kind of like built down up so the, the armchair parts can like pop down really easy like that. It looks different. That's what is nice about it. It's different. They didn't copy anything from the other set for change. Finally got the bed here. I think that's a bed or a lounge chair or, you know, maybe you have to discuss with the psychologist what kind of weapon you need. Very simple, again, dark tone. Uh, the tiles are kind of scratched up. In case you guys are wondering, this is still kind of like Zingbao's old style bricks. So they're not perfect. They're not like co-bricks that we're seeing in like all these other crazy new sets. Well, very nice little lounge chair. The only other thing inside this room, it's a very center there. There's like a carpet and I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be for. I guess maybe you just stand your figure in there. Finally got the rooftop here, which is secure. It's kind of like the same as the other ones, except the lantern piece is coming off. At least you only have four on there. You do have a little bit of these things you got to put on, like the decoration parts that show off a little bit of gold. But hey man, it's pretty good, right? That's the weapon shop for you. It's nice and small. And yes, the set of course comes with those new figures. We'll put them on the set so you can kind of see the set at the same time and let me know what you think of the figures. Start with the ladies first. This lady in red, a little bit of pink on her. As far as printing goes, they look just fine to me. There's also a little bit of detail there along the back. And of course, you guys must know that this set is probably more suited for your standard minifigures. At least they're trying, they're trying. All right, who's next? The lady in purple with a yellow bow around her. Looks perfectly fine. It's whether or not you like these guys. There's her bootay. Let's just see the back of her. I do like the hair piece. You know, at least the ladies look a little bit happier around this time because they're making weapons for their loved ones. I like the outfit of this lady. I think the darker tone suits better with the set, the robe and the belt that's kind of dangling down. She looks good. I think I just like her for the color. There's her backside. There she is sitting down. You guys can see what the bottom looks like. They do mount to regular studs. Am I surprised? But there she is chilling. All right, who is next? We got the guy in white here. There's a rabbit hat. And he only looks cool because I put the swords on him. It's like, double sword, yeah. How you like these weapons? Printing looks totally fine. I like the X's on his waistband, which kind of reminds me of Cause. There's his AS. At least they have printing on both sides, which looks good. The printing looks good. And of course, it makes sense to have the blacksmith. He's holding a hammer there. He's ready to put your weapons together, cool them down, whatever. Hard working, man. I do like the outfit. He don't need no shirt because he's going to be so hot. And there's his backside. Look at all those muscles on his back. Last but not least, you got this guy. Wait, is it a guy or a girl? Guy, okay, sorry, it's their eyes, man. It's fooling me. They have a very anime look to them. But here's the guy in the back of the weapon shop. I'm going to go upstairs, talk to his therapist. Which weapon should I buy next? And just so you know, very minimal printing on the back side. But there you go. It's all the figures that come with the set. Six of them. Just use your own. I just wanted to quickly show you guys. I took all the weapons off the set and piled them right here. That's a lot of weapons, man. So that is just pretty cool. And they're all varied, they're not repeating. Well, a couple of them are, but you get so much of a variety there. I love this one, by the way. It's like God of War. Pachang. All right, just a quick comparison again. I want to put minifigure in the set, a standard one. This is a gift from Tyler. Thank you so much. If you guys want to send me minifigures, go for it, man. I'll probably throw you in my videos, you know? Maybe I'll throw you in some questionable sets. But Tyler, here you are. 
You're not in the right attire. We gotta get you suited up. Yo, that's awesome, man. Totally fits the armor. Now you got like three pieces of armor and a couple more helmets to put on the figures. Now he's like, hmm, do I want the sword? Which weapon will I use today? He's still pondering. Hmm. I'll sit here and take a little break. Let's see what weapon would I like to take with me. Hmm, maybe I'll use the samurai sword. There are too many weapons on the wall. I cannot contain myself. There are too many weapons in this room. I think I need to go upstairs and meet my psychologist and have a little talk. But before I go up, let me serve myself a cup of tea first. It actually looks really good with the figures in there. Man, can you imagine overcrowding this place? It might look awesome. I am so tired walking up these steps already. Are we almost done with this review? Hurry up, Scotty. Let's get this over with. I need to choose my weapon. Hello? Is anybody home? So I don't know which weapon to choose from. I don't know if I should take the spear, the axe, the sword, the knife, the guns, or the grenade. I'm so confused. That's okay, Tyler. There's nothing to worry about. Just take them all. They're all yours. That sounds good to me. Oh, this bed is so comfortable. I think I'm going to take a nap now. I hope I don't have that dream again where Scotty drops this set. All right, dimension time. Should be pretty quick. You guys know that this is on the 32 by 32 base plate. Break out your one by four bricks. Stack up. I'd say about 30 of them, 30 bricks in height. It's kind of uh, just like, uh, it's right. It's kind of like right there. So there you go. Now you can check whether or not this is suited both for you or not. Now, let's see if this will fit with a modular. Right here, I have the original, original, all right? Lego Parisian restaurant. Was getting even more dustier than it was before. One of my favorite sets, personally. And let's see if this will slide together. Boom, look at that. Okay, so it totally does fit there. Now lucky, let's go this way. This might be a little bit tough to see. The tower actually doesn't quite hit the restaurant. So this will fit against there. Now you just have to figure out the mounting holes, exactly where it lines up to. If I'm looking at this correctly, it kind of hits right around here. So this is a one by four brick, I'm pretty sure. So I, actually, I think you can just switch that up. So yeah, for sure. I think you can actually mount this with another modular. It kind of looks cool like that. Have you guys ever seen this combination before? Oh, the thing flew off. Kind of looks cool like that. It's like a little museum street going on. All right, that's your dimensions and your comparison. Yeah. Oh, you know, different outfit means I finished this video. I can drop this thing now and Ooh, let's see what's going to survive. What do you guys think? I think the signs, maybe the lanterns, the chimney might fall off. We'll find out right now. Man, I'm going to leave the weapons on here, by the way. So they're, they're going to fly off for sure. It might be just kind of fun to do it like that. Okay. I'm scared as, as, as always. I'll bring it to about here, all right? Hope I can drop it straight. Five, four, three, two, one. I caught the rooftop. Okay, all the weapons flew off. Okay. Couple of the armors, the signs, obviously. The floor stayed intact. Let's see. All the lanterns came off there. Ooh. This is the ultimate test right here. You ready for this? Hey, not bad. Not bad. Everything's still in. All right. Okay, I'll tidy that up. Won't take me long. Poof. So there you guys go, weapon shop. I'm Zing Bao, blacksmith, whatever you want to call it. Awesome, I love it. 
stay tuned. I'll do the other ones real soon, right? Until next time, you guys, break me out with my weapon. There you go. I like the sound of that. I just don't want to throw these things away. Oh, almost dropped that there. Take off the second floor first. You guys know by now that this is modular. I just knocked off the lantern. I was just saying that these things hold in pretty good. I can't see myself. I can't see myself. Ding bell.